Hi everyone, this is Shali Kumar again from ONTC. I'm an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training in Cambridge. Uh, I am back with another adult NMC OSCE video for you. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. It just gives me a lot of motivation to keep making these videos for you, obviously to help you with revising for your adult NMC OSCE exam and hopefully pass it first time. Okay, so today's video is all about planning station. So I'm going to show you how to do another care plan. I have already done lots of planning videos already on the principle of planning station, uh, some example care plans uh, on different topics, different scenarios. So today I'm going to be doing a care plan for a neurological scenario of subtular hematoma. And this time the, care, the nursing need is going to be about prevention of you know if your patient is at risk of falls how do you do prevention of fall care plan that's what we're going to look at today in your exam uh, for your subdural hematoma the patient may be at risk of fall but may not be but most likely they normally have a history of fall so you are okay to write a fall care plan uh, so that's what we're going to look at today so we're going to look at the template we're going to look uh, complete all section of the care plan with nursing need um, aim of care evaluation date and then the nursing intervention for preventing a fall so that's what we're going to be looking at today so okay let's get started so like i said i've already done lots of planning videos so please go and watch them as well so uh, as a refresher so what is the planning station where you have to write two very clear care plans about uh, to uh, nursing needs you have identified in assessment station so it's a written station uh, you will be given back your assessment paperwork and then the march chart from implementation station so you will get those documents back to write two very uh, clear care plans about two nursing needs you have identified with your patient in assessment station that's what the care planning that's what the planning station is in your adult and mc OSCE exam okay so talking about uh, today's topic which is a neurological scenario so what you're going to get is if you look at the screen you will get the front of the sheet which is the front of the planning document which tells you your scenario is telling you that it is a neurological uh, uh, scenario and is telling you so the front sheet asks you to write your candidate name then you got the scenario there for you now this does not belong to a real patient so i made this scenario completely for teaching purpose just as a disclaimer okay it does not belong to a, a real patient so you can see the scenario is the pole vote um, was admitted to acute neurological unit after having a fall at home and uh, he's experiencing worsening headaches and nausea and he's now been diagnosed with subdural hematoma okay uh, so it's a neurological scenario you have now they are asking you to based on your nursing assessment please produce a nursing care plan for two relevant nursing needs uh, relevant uh, which are uh, suitable for next 24 hours uh, this is a silent station uh, you need to write clearly and legibly and you got 14 minutes to complete this and this is the date and time so that's the date and time you are writing your care plans at so that's your front sheet and then you get a next screen is that you get a blank sheet uh, obviously you get the inside of the care plan which will be uh, blank sheets to write your two care plans but today i'm going to only, only going to show you one care plan how to write for neurological patient uh, that will be about risk of so we're going to write that so okay let's complete this uh, then blank template together for risk of whole care plan so uh, as you look on the screen now so it's a planning neurological care uh, first part is patient details now they're always uh, completed already completed for you so you don't have to add the patient details again because you're tight on time so they already printed for you so the next uh, first box you're going to complete is the nursing problem or need so if we have identified that uh, our patient uh, 
uh, have a history of fall at home and so they are at high risk of having another fall in hospital so our nursing need is that we will just write a, a clear nursing need very simply which is fall is at risk of uh, falls uh, due to previous his falls in hospital due to previous history of fall at home so fall is at risk of fall due to uh, previous history of fall at home so because he already they're already telling you he was admitted after a fall okay so he's again then at high risk of having a fall in hospital as well so that is our nursing need written very clearly fall is at risk of fall due to previous history of falls at home and then aim of care so what is our aim of care so if the risk is that uh, he may fall our aim of care should be to prevent a fall so we're going to start to prevent a fall during Paul's hospital stay by maintaining a safe environment so we're going to maintain safe environment and we are going to prevent a fall okay so uh, next box now so this is our re-evaluation date so uh, this is all about how often we're going to check on poll regarding risk of fall so i would say definitely today you're going to go and back and check on him today right today comma write the date so that would be your exam date in days slash month slash year okay so write the full exam date there today and the date so now we already talked about the nursing rounds so we will definitely check on uh, every nursing rounds on him so we are going to write two hourly as per nurse rounds or sooner if his clinical condition changes if you think uh, uh, he get he's getting out of bed a lot or he may fall again so you may have to reduce your monitoring reduce your frequency on checking on him uh, more often than two hours but uh, as a standard rule uh, at least two hours so two hourly as per nurse rounds or sooner if Paul's clinical condition changes okay so that's the re-evaluation section and now we're going to look at nursing interventions what can we do to help our patient to prevent a fall uh, so the first point will be explain care plan to poll uh, and gain consent for all interventions second one will be monitor and record vital signs and neurological observations because this is a neuro scenario so you're not just only doing vitals on this patient you will be asked to do vitals and you will ask, be asked to do neurological observations as well which is your Glasgow comma scale eye assessments of the pupil and the limb assessment alongside vitals and you will be plotting on the GCS chart not the news chart so what you're going to write is monitor and record by polls vital signs and neurological observation and escalate as per GCS policy because we can't refer to news policy here because this patient we have not used the news chart because we are using the GCS chart so we need to refer to GCS policy so that's what we need to do so don't make the critical mistake of talking about news because you will not be completing a news chart for your uh, neuro patient so that's our second point and third point is document all care given to poll uh, fourth is administer all medication and check for effectiveness and next thing is show poll how to use the coal bell to ask for help whenever she he needs to get out of bed or uh, just to make sure that he gets some help uh, so he, he we need to show him how to use the coal bell and now what else we can do to um, prevent a fall first thing is we need to risk assess say. so complete uh, falls risk assessment which all NHS hospitals use in UK so complete fall risk assessment on admission because it's high risk of fall because it's history, got history of fall so we're going to do it on, on admission this risk assessment and then weekly or sooner if his, his condition changes okay so so we do it on admission then we repeat a weekly to see how he's getting on so next thing will be to refer uh, poll to the trust fall prevention team and a physiotherapist uh, uh, for further management so because you know physiotherapist may be able to show him some techniques uh, while mobilizing that could prevent a fall and also to fall prevention team so that's what we're going to do um, after taking consent uh, uh, use side rails to prevent a fall out of bed so that's the other thing we can do is we can use uh, bed rails but after consent after looking if they're appropriate for him okay so if if you think uh, 
uh, he can understand and uh, uh, you know we can use and we can take consent then we can use the bed rails to prevent a fall out of bed okay so next one is provide pole with anti-slip socks uh, to prevent a fall so all hospitals do have anti-slip socks because a patient do like to walk around sometime bare feet or whatever so is is if they have anti-slip socks uh, with their footwear then there is a, uh, obviously better grip so that will prevent a fall and next thing will be um, educate pole about wearing uh, well-fitted importance of wearing well-fitted uh, footwear to prevent a fall because um, sometimes the main reason of fall is because um, you know patient is now wearing they're wearing ill-fitted footwear either they're wearing uh, shoes which are too small or too big for their feet and that would co can cause a fall so it is important that uh, that pole wears well-fitted footwear while he when he's mobilizing in the um, mobilizing around in the ward okay so we will educate him on that uh, next thing will be keep poles environment clutter free so we want to make sure there is no clutter on the floor there is nothing which he can trip over uh, no water slip over or trip over so we need to make sure the environment is kept clutter free to prevent a fall so this is our fall prevention care plan uh, for this neuro scenario and just an example now you may use it in your neuro scenario if your patient is at risk of fall uh, or you may not but this is this can be one of the main problems in your scenario for subdural hematoma can be or may not be but you have to decide that it is appropriate for your scenario so that's that and then you don't forget to print your name add your signature and add the date which will be your exam date and uh, so make sure you write and uh, you add that so that is a completed full prevention care plan uh, which you can use in different scenarios if your patient is at risk of fall i have just given you example for subdural hematoma as a neuro scenario neurological scenario but it may apply to other scenarios as well where your patient may have a history of fall at home and you obviously want to prevent them falling again in hospital so that could be one of your nursing needs so i hope you like this care plan top tips not many just make sure your handwriting is clear your interventions are relevant first thing is your handwriting is clear and legible second thing is that your if you're writing a for neuro scenario then you do not mention the news chart or news policy you mention the gcs policy uh, tip number three is uh, make sure your interventions are written clearly and relevant number four your risk assessment and reference are relevant okay so make sure you do that uh, so i hope you like this care plan uh, and if you do like the video please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel you can also visit us on um, oskinastraining.com and also you can email us on oskinastraining at outlook.com for more information about our training modules and i will soon be back with another video for you so bye for now